Hi guys, it is a cloudy, gloomy, nasty Monday morning here in the end times. Monday morning, September 10th, 2018. Here in paradise in an undisclosed location on this rainy day in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia. A beautiful, I am looking at a rain swollen river out the window of this cabin. And I have got a lot of Doomer headlines to go over in my two-part Doomer headline roundup round. But before I do, I just want to share a couple of comments of the day. And uh, Sister Deanna Demers, is it Demers or Demers? Anyway, she is in a writing mood. <clears throat> Take it away, Deanna. People are too smart for their own good. I put on the news, and what? Do we hear? A new form of vehicle will be able to take off vertically and land vertically. Humans have no sense of the outcome of their grand new plans, as if the sky isn't already full of man's machines. Now they add another form that will clutter up the skies and endanger not only themselves, but the birds, the birds who rightfully belong there. Humans are land animals, not flying mammals, not sea mammals who breathe underwater. The poor wildlife, the poor fish, and the poor sea creatures, the poor birds and land animals, they are the ones with no voice. They are the real victims of the human species that's us. I feel sorry for, for them, but the human deserves just what he or she gets. In the end, the earth will regain its balance, and we will perish. We will join the creatures who have died out. Do you see the cancers, the diseases, the violent wars? On and on, we see total catastrophe, and it's all brought on by people. There is no end in sight. People will continue to damage this tiny blue planet. They will not stop until they destroy everything that they can. Like the Wumps in the Wumps world, we will have to hide underground while the modern world falls apart. What will be left after we get rid of the politicians and their followers? Lots of laughs. What will be left after all of this chaos? I have one hope. If you watch how people react after any catastrophe, you see how weak they really are and unable to do anything. Total panic ensues. They tremble in fear, scream, and pray. They act as primitive as the big apes we came from. Without their weapons and modern tools, they will be helpless. At least the wildlife will have a fighting chance to protect themselves, and that would be wonderful. I don't like belonging to the human race, but I had no choice. Better to be anything else. Shame on the people who kill for the fun of it. Shame on the ignorant people, the bullies, the males, hmm, who think they have the right to control everyone else. There you go. And I guess uh, Deanna has never met a female control freak. Anyone who thinks, uh, thinking they have the right to control everyone else uh, is limited only to males. I don't need to get into that rant. <clears throat> but anyway, I'm just going, I just, this comment just came in a few minutes ago from my old buddy All Raw Paul. You know, since, uh, actually I have a comment from Andy, I don't believe it, right, but it came in right before Paul's comment. Uh, I was just getting ready to say, since Andy uh, is dead again, 
I might have to start an all raw Paul uh, roundup each week. Anyway, take it away, all raw Paul, and segue us in to our Doomer headlines. <clears throat> yes, there are no serious solutions suggested because the necessary changes are too massive for most authors to seriously consider. If climate change were reversible, which is not the case, to save the planet, humans would have to systematically and rapidly reduce human population to one million globally within 10 years. All nuclear power plants would have to be immediately decommissioned. Fossil fuel use would have to be phased out in a decade. Plastic would have to be outlawed and all nuclear and other armaments would have to be disassembled and banned. Religion would have to be banned. Strict population control would have to be implemented. None of this has a snowball's chance in hell of being even considered. An alien takeover by a powerful, highly technically advanced species would be necessary to force compliance to systemic changes to the way humans live. Voluntary cooperation among the millions of opposed human factions has never been close to achievable. Hate and distrust and deception are the norm for tribal, national, and international relations. Everyone is just going through the motions to keep business as usual going on, going, and to keep this sinking ship afloat as long as possible. There is realistically nothing that can be done for our insane civilization and our disgusting, polluting, rapacious, omnicidal, unsustainable species. Life is basically meaningless and boring anyway. What is the point? Human extinction is the best outcome here. The world will be a better place without us, and every single one of us will be better off dead. Thank you. All raw Paul uh, for chiming in on top of Deanna's comment, and with that start to my Monday morning, I uh, cannot think of a better kickoff to my two-part Doomer Headlines Roundup rap uh, for this gloomy Monday morning in the waning days of the summer of 2018. Coming right up. Bye, guys.